Yo, what season. is good, gamers? It is your boy Mission, and we are back for a brand new game on the channel. And that game is Alan Wake 2. Now, I've been wanting to actually get into this and play this for a minute, but you know, just waiting until you know the bills are paid and all that good stuff. And I was able to uh, grab this bad boy. I did play Alan Wake 1 way, 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 way back <laughs> when it first came out. So I'm not like super, super familiar uh, with the uh, story from part one. But we just gonna dive in this with a fresh mind. As you guys know already, you know I love me some narrative and video games. I love storytelling. I love playing through games that feels like movies. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. I've been hearing some good things about Alan Wake too, so I'm I'm personally uh, excited to get into this and see what this is all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead. I did do a little test run um, before recording this episode, so we're gonna hit new game. I'm just gonna keep it on normal for the sake of the story. Let's get it in. I'm ready. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. Mm. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is okay. a monster. Oh, that was trippy. That was trippy. Transition. Yo, what? Oh, this dude is butt naked. What in the blue moon is happening here? We are butt naked, bro. Who is this? Who is this hairy bi- Bro, this how y'all kicking things off? Why are we running in the middle of the woods with a chubby naked man? Please tell me. Explain to me. Oh, I need help. Help me. Okay, okay. The junk, the junk is showing. <laughs> the junk is showing. I'm definitely gonna have to do some, some editing. Definitely. Bro, what's, what's going on, G? Why am I hearing voices? Why am I naked? Why am I playing as a random old, a random middle-aged old, I don't know, naked, chubby, hairy guy? Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Now see. Now see. Jesus is Lord. All right. <laughs> Me and horror games, bro. I'm telling you. I. I Jesus, <laughs> blood of Jesus. Sprint by toggling. 
L3. Bro, this is. We gotta look at butt cheeks the whole time. The whole time through this sequence. What is even happening? The graphics kind of clean, though. I ain't gonna lie. Even though the first thing they give us is some random naked dude. We are playing this in a uh, fidelity mode cinematic. You guys know how I am sometimes. Got to get that cinematic feel. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Yo, yo, yo. Oh my God. Did he just shoot me? Bro. Oh God. Yeah, GG's my guy. You was not making it out of this. Of the tree? What are they doing? Where's the rest of the stuff? Oh, they cut his heart out. My thoughts, but not my words. Y'all gotta show the man's junk, like, bruh. some intro right there oh my god that was crazy that was crazy wow hey kiddo how are you i'm good mom how are you this trip might take a little longer than i thought i'm sorry i've been gone so much lately logan oh my god mom it's not your fault people get all murdery what happened people get murdery just work stuff right well dad and i are just watching the latest episode of night springs here mom it's so good no spoilers i'll let you get back to the show you were supposed to wait and watch with me bro don't you hate when people like you when you when you want to binge watch something with like a family member or your spouse or something like that and they they watch ahead of you to stop brooding so much bro i hate that so much Okay, W intro. I like this. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. What? <laughs> it can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Kind of seems like it's out of sync. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Hmm. Okay. Get 
Dang, this is really impressive looking. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Yeah, I like I like the font. That's really good. I like that. Okay. I should take a look at that map. FBI, huh? What is this lady's name? Did he mention her name yet? Map displays key locations in the area. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. I'm trying to do I swipe? Oh, OK, there we go. All right. So that's how we look at the map. Gotcha. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Okay, we know her last name is Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be Saga, this okay. Case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that you know that uh Where are those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? I could use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Ooh, we How doing some uh I was getting to that, Thornton. Criminal investigation. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. <laughs> okay. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. The city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Now the facial, the facial animations on the characters is really good. Okay. Meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay, you can access the case board inside the mine place. Ooh, mine place. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues on the case. Building the mine place again for each case, using each field office as a model in my head. Oh, that's fire. That's actually the fire. On the board. That is actually fire. Case board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth okay. taking another look. Case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze and progress the investigation. Okay. You can use the right stick to move around. All right. Triggers to zoom in, zoom out. All right, you can move the cursor. You're not free to navigate the case board by pressing a circle. Okay, so what we got here? Series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding connections will help our search for the killer. Okay, murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only commonly, common, commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma, exposure to water, post-mortem. Bruising on wrists and legs, deep gash in chest, heart missing. All bodies experience bloating. Wow. 
Victims, all victims reported missing in 2010. No other com commonalities. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating. Wendy Davis, body bloating, large chest wound. It's Percy Wolf, store on the bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Huh. Okay, killer profile. Post-mortem tattooing of the body. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Okay, good thing to think about or remember. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Okay, interesting. Okay, I think that's everything we got so far. Okay, we could, we could exit. This is cool, man. This is almost like a little menu hub. It's actually a room. Ain't that crazy? So is that a picture of her daughter? And her partner. Goes. Meet Deputy Thor. Okay. Give me a prompt for the door. Let's see what that what happens when you use the door. All you exit out of it. Visiting my place does not pause the game, so be mindful of the nearby threats. Let's head down the hill to the crime Wow. Scene. That's cool to mine place. Nature gives me a headache. It's too much sky. This looks so clean, though. Hey, Casey, you putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm hmm Real funny, Anderson. Saga Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Dang. Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> Mirror peak. Mighty Mountain in the distance, no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. Right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Okay. A what? I wonder what relation does this uh, character have with Alan, though? Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. I'm starting to get foggy, a little misty. Damn. Yeah. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing Bro, it's good graphics when feels like home. You know you got good graphics when you can tell by the environment that it's getting ready to rain. You think the Come local on. law has sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. This is clean. This must be the other guy. General Store Cauldron Lake. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. General so, Store. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? <laughs> Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's choking. Let's just see this body, shall we? <coughs> okay, this... We... <laughs> bro. This is the, scene of this the, is the body. I do not want to show this dude's jump. Table. But we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Okay. Step one examine the corpse. I'm trying to do that without showing the man's junk. 
Okay, there we go. Body is positioned on the table. Oh God. Ritualistic. You can unlock your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind place. Okay, allows, okay, up on the directional pad, allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with X and placed on the case board. Okay, congelate murder. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Placing key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Okay. The key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board and your goals. Escape the crime scene. You're not free to examine the case board or leave. All right. All right. So consistent with previous murders. That's the question, huh? My evidence. Okay. Collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. The left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Okay, so now that we got clues. Do they just let you, okay. This is consistent with previous killings. Cargo straps. Bruiser indicate victim was alive and restrained. Matches other cases. Nope. Oh, wait. Can't be placed into the newly discovered clues can be placed into the open question. <laughs> I'm confused. Um, consistent with previous. Is the heart not consistent with the previous murders? Oh, there we go. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance through the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check updated goals by pressing triangle. Got you. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Victim and the killers. Got you. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Okay, deduction available. Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. Oh, they recorded it for a camera. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here waiting. Getting lit. We lit. Okay, we got more stuff for the case board. I'm assuming every blood splatter on the table. Okay, that's that would be. I don't know. Multiple sets of foot footprints that got to be connected to the killers. Footprints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. For later, for later, okay. Any idea who the victim is? No, oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Hey. Okay. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. 
Got the boot pretty quick after that. Hmm, okay. What happened after he got fired? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Hmm. So he's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me right. wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. All right, let's see if we can connect some things here. Victim is Robert Night Nightingale, so we can put that to the victim, right? Um, we can also put this on the victim file. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Premeditated or spontaneous? So we got new questions. So I guess when it's when it's highlighted green that we're done with that, like that question. Taking out the spot, having a cold one, All right? And camera. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Victim came from. Profiling. That scene. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Okay, you can use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. Okay, using her intuition, Saga. Uh, Saga can dis discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Intuition. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did oh, he wow. end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. That's crazy. Ritual murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Hmm. Okay. So, profile the victim. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mom. Victim came from profile somebody. Nightingale came from Cauldron Lake. Okay, could feel that Nightingale came from Lake, but why now after 13 years? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh. I'll just wait here. So once you like out of clues or evidence, you just kind of like just leave the mind place. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. 
The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that right. out yet. Why, why is he naked? <laughs> Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Ugh. Look at this. A witch with no heart. Ooh, A strange maybe evidence. Owl murder. Hmm. There was no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mystery stories around about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. Legend tells that when the affections of the local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Cradle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. So they got a story about a witch taking out people's hearts. <laughs> so, yeah. Got to be some some type of evidence. That's this is yeah, this tree is spooky. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Okay. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out oh. from under the boulder. It makes no sense. What does the paper say? Can we pick up the paper? Okay. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own, FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found, the first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here, someone playing a game with them. Oh, this is Alan Wakes. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them? Someone's been watching us. Playing hmm. a game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Okay, manuscript pages can be read inside Saga's mom, please. This page. Okay, manuscript pages can be. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, profiling. Page. Found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside, the awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. I must find out what. So we need to go back to the body. You're stuck in sure. Check the wrong place, okay? Should we go to case board? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there. Trial gone cold. The lake I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense.
Oh, snap, what am I doing? Think. It's just somebody playing a game. Anything else here? Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Gotcha. I was already thinking that, but I didn't know I had to put files together first. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that pen. Hold on. Need all of it. Map. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desire? Okay, let me check the map real quick. Love? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Okay. This is a... I think this is a glitch. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I just did a dodge without knowing. Let's go, buddy. Moving too slow here. Stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key. To the gate, it's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Okay, take the car back to Bright Falls. Let's get Falls. the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Bro. <laughs> Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not, a not me, bro. Deputies. I will not be spending the night here. This what is this? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. We're all this hates together. Hates jokes about coincidentally Hero. having the same name as a fake detective. May scrap he hates fragments. Those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Okay, is this like little secrets? Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in a mine place. Okay, weapon upgrade. Cool. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I don't, I could have not have seen that though, right? I didn't explore that way. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Tripod for a camera to record a, a snuff film, maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. X. Here we are. We're out of here, buddy. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner.
Okay. Okay. Nice little intro so far. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Thrilled? What the heck? Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Dang, this looks so clean. What the heck? This looks so clean. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Right Falls, Washington. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for the first intro episode to Alan Wake 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it so far. I'm intrigued. I'm engaged. I'm ready to dive deeper into the meat and bones of this story. Make sure you hit the like button, sub to the channel as it does help this channel in a huge, major way. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Till then, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. And as always, you know the vibes. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you too. Peace. Salute. We out of here.